Hi, Mark Rouge with Tree Imagineers. I'd like to spend a couple of minutes to talk about setting up the tree motion. So Stu has kindly um, offered to give us a hand with this. We've got a tree motion Evo here, and we'd just like to fit it on Stu really and see, see, how, see the different steps we go through. Before we, before we start off, there's just a number of things you can set. There is, obviously, there's the ventral buckle you can adjust. That's one adjustment. You have the side adjustment for the upper riser and you have the lower adjustment for the lower riser onto the front hardware. And finally, there's the bridge length. So those are the settings. So why don't you go ahead and put it on, Stu? Now, one important thing to remember with this type of harness is it's not a rock climbing harness. So you don't cinch it up as tight as you can. I would suggest when you're fitting it to start with the whole thing fairly open. Give yourself space to do the adjustments. Earlier, I'd get really uh, obsessed on um, being completely symmetrical on how I do the settings. I've, I've kind of moved away from that today. I just do the adjustments until it feels comfortable. So, yeah, it's, it's already pretty comfortable. It's already pretty comfortable, good. So, um, the, some people put it on with the leg loops open. Other people um, keep them closed. I don't bother opening and closing them, but um, that's an option you have especially if you're using chainsaw pants, for instance, using bulky pants, heavy clothing, that may be of use. So, yeah, that's all fairly open. So why don't you just hang yourself on the climbing line now, Stu? What I'm basically looking at here is this triangulation, okay? This length, the upper riser, and this length from the leg loop defines where the hardware sits. The hardware defines how you're suspended. So really what we're trying to do is to get Stu in a position of neutral buoyancy where the pressure on his back and on his legs is roughly equal. So how does that feel now? Yes, good, really good. And it's the same between top and, top and bottom, is it? Yes. So the other thing that I'm kind of looking at here is also how the webbing is running through these slots. I'm really surprised sometimes by how tight people would have it where it's really bunched up into the edge of the hardware so um, give yourself a bit of space there and if you move left and right just um, and, and right you can see that hardware is running through those slots which is one of the things you'll experience as comfort so you know as in this case now that was comfortable from the get-go but just work that webbing in and out until as I say pressure on your back and pressure on your legs is roughly the same, a neutral buoyancy. The ventral adjustment is the first thing you do to get it tight, obviously. These are the next two settings that you look at. Um, and then bridge length, what the bridge length is doing is it regulates, again, your centre of gravity and how close the pivot point is to your centre of gravity. So if those two are the same, the harness becomes very responsive, it's wanting to flip you from side to side and the further out it comes, the more comfortable your ride gets. So, fully extended like this, that's gonna give Stu a fairly gentle ride. It's forgiving, it's not gonna do anything very quickly. Whereas people who um, uh, have a more dynamic climbing style may want to have it closer in so that it becomes more responsive, but it's also trying to flip you. So those are the, those are the adjustments, um, the five points of adjustment on a tree motion.